What's up, everybody? It's Peichel with League of Items, and in today's episode, we're going to go over the four-game slate uh, tomorrow. We have two games in the LPL, two games in the LCK. Let's start off in Korea. So in Korea, which we uh, spent most of yesterday's video talking about, uh, we have Fred at Brion against DRX, and we have Live Sandbox against Hanwha Life. So apparently there's information coming out that Sam D is not going to be starting, which is somewhat important if you want to uh, bet money on uh, HLE. So let's bring up that. So I don't know who their backup would be. Uh, if you can if you can find it online, that might be uh, well. It will be useful information to have for tomorrow. So if we just go lane by lane, Dudu against Dove. I think that's a pretty close matchup. On Fleek against Croco. I think Croco is probably the better player. On Fleek played a lot last year and then was replaced with Willer at Worlds and Willer was the better player um I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised that willer's not playing um at this point karis against closer closer is definitely thought of as the more um talented player is the more highly touted player and then we have sam d and vista against envy and kale um with sam d not playing it really depends on who the replacement is in this kind of in this kind of um meta it, it is pretty significant because if you're not going to play hard carry champions, then it's going to be a detriment to your team. Um, so I think that in this match, you probably feel good playing Sandbox most of the time. Uh, yeah, let's see if did the line move. So Sandbox was the favorite, and now they're not the favorite. That's kind of strange considering HLE is not going to have their starting 80 carry. Uh, but let's move on. So in the other match, we have Fred at Breon against DRX. And again, DRX is the kind of team that I like supporting them when they play against better teams. And I, I feel um, I get heartburn when they're playing against lesser teams. And I definitely think of Fred at Breon as a lesser team. So we have Kingen against Morgan. I do like Kingen in gen or I do like Morgan in general. I could see Morgan winning this matchup. Um... It's going to come down to the pick ban for that that lane specifically. I think that DRX is probably the team that puts more pressure on the top lane because they have a more diverse champion pool. Um, Piosic is better than Umti. Zika is better than Lava. Deft and Barrel are better than Henna and Delight. So I think you can feel pretty confident that you're on the right side if you have DRX. For DraftKings, you're probably not going to feel good about DRX as your primary stack. You probably want to make them your secondary stack. Um, because of kill upside. And then we can go over to China. So first up, we have BLG against World Elite. The line is minus 667 for BLG, Team World Elite, plus 423. So that's a huge line, obviously. I I think that Biu Biu and Breathe, Breathe is definitely the better player. Beishong and Weiwei, I think that Beishong is a better player. Fofo against Shanks, Fofo is a better player. And then Doggo and Crisp against Stay and Kadaya. So they're replacing Shing with Stay. Um, that is enough for me to just not want to play Worldly at all. I could see them taking a game off of BLG. I think that Beishong is that good, but it's it's really tough. Like, you're not going to pick them to win the match. Um, 100 to win 400, not terrible, but... You're not going to do it. Uh, then we have Weibo Gaming against LNG. And it's funny because I was looking at my futures and I have Weibo and BLG at the same odds. I think 
I don't know which one of those I like better. I also have V5. So I have, I have three teams that had pretty long odds when I placed those bets um, probably a month ago, I guess now. Um, so let's just go lane by lane. Uh, Ale against the Shy. I prefer the Shy. His upside is just higher than... Not higher than Ale's. Ale has a very good upside. But we've seen the Shy basically win his team a world championship. So I think that we've seen a lot of good stuff from the Shy recently. I think there's even more because uh, we've seen it before. Um, in the jungle, we have S of M against Tarzan. I don't think people are kind of remembering S of M accurately. I think that S of M, S of M has played very well this year, but he's not Tarzan. Tarzan's definitely the better top laner. So we kind of get an inverse in the top in the jungle. Like everybody respects um, the Shy a lot, and everybody respects Tarzan a lot. But the the or everybody respects S of M a lot and Ali a lot. But the upside of the two other players is just higher. We've seen them be controlling forces on on winning teams. Yes, S of M did make it to World Finals, um, and was a very important piece of that. But S of M wasn't the main player on that team. That was really Huan Feng. And Bin had a great world championship as well. And Sword Art did a good job as well. Um, S of M was really like the third or fourth most important player on that team. Um, in the mid lane, we have Doon B against Angel. This is going to come down to pick Ban because Doon B does play supportive mid laner sometimes. Um, he's a very diverse player. He can play basically anything. But there are certain mid laners out there who no matter what the draft looks like, he's not. they're not going to pick a supportive mid laner. Doon B is willing to do that, and it's one of his best ways of playing the game because it does help his other teammates carry, and he's willing. He, he's always willing to pull the trigger, which is an uh, an asset to almost every single team because sometimes teams don't trust themselves to make that decision that will ultimately win them the game. Doon B is your guy. He'll always do that. Uh, then we have Light and Loom out against Huan Feng and An. I definitely prefer Huan Feng and An. I think they're the better bot lane. So if we're going lane by lane, I think that... Top lane will come down to draft. I think that Tarzan's the better jungler. I think that Doon B is better than Angel. And I think that Huan Feng and An are better than Light and Lumao. Um, in terms of pick ban for the bot lane, I could see Weibo Gaming kind of um, pivoting towards a utility AD carry, which would kind of be a bad thing. Like, I I'm just of the mind where if you can play Jinx every single game and it's available in the draft, then just do it. And then figure out the rest of it from there. Um, but I'm not Weibo Gaming's coach. Uh, so that's basically it for the games tomorrow. Um, a pretty straightforward slate. We have two relatively big favorites. And then we have the cl like the theoretically close match for live sandbox and Hamo Life. But the fact that Hamo Life doesn't have their starting 80 carry should kind of freak us out a little bit. Um... The match of the night's really, obviously, LNG against Weibo Gaming, two of the best teams in the world right now. Um, so I'll be excited to watch that. I don't think that I'll be awake for it, but uh, the highlights should be out when I wake up. Or maybe Game 3 will be out when I wake up. That'd be nice. Um, but that's it. That's all I've got for you today. Um, I'm going to release another video soon about the LEC and the LCS for what the rest of the season is going to look like, more similar to the LCK one that I did. And then I also have to do that for the LPL sometime this weekend, probably. So watch out for those. Um, as always, uh, if you haven't liked, commented, subscribed, or anything like that in the past, please do. It helps out. I'm really close to 1,000 subscriber subscribers. I want to get to that because of monetization, obviously. Uh, then I can like make everything free, like Discord free and stuff like that. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.